Mr. President, I think you'll agree that these values are directly under threat and under attack by Russia, not just in Ukraine, but across our continent and beyond. The crossroads in which we find ourselves as a continent will define Europe for decades to come. Mr. President, today, during our meeting, we also discussed Kosovo's ambitions to join the Council of Europe, NATO, as well as the European Union. I want to thank you for the support that you have sh shown. And as a former refugee myself, and as a president of a people who were almost entirely displaced during the war, the war in Kosovo was just two decades ago. The wounds in our society are still very deep, and there is no one who better understands the people of Ukraine at this difficult time. It's for this reason that we have done everything we can to support them, both in action through the immediate sanctions against Russia and Belarus. Unfortunately, our neighbor Serbia continues to serve Russian interests in our region by being the only country to not impose sanctions and continues to support Russia's malign and destabilizing agenda.